Hello, so today I'll be going over seven poses slash holds that can help relieve pain and increase longevity. Uh, this will be through stabilizing your body's muscles and joints by increasing strength, flexibility and mobility. The first exercise is the air bench, so find a space on the wall and sit in a 90 degree angled position as so. Be holding this for two minutes, arms stretched out in front of you, and just concentrate on your breathing from this position. This exercise is great for engaging your thighs and countering the sitting position, meaning the trunk is further supported. Therefore, if you're someone who sits down for long periods of time, this exercise is especially good for your body. Though it doesn't look like much, you will begin to feel a burning sensation in your thighs, but just concentrate on your breathing and stay in the pose, being mindful of your body's position. One more minute to go, so halfway there, just holding the position, making sure your spine is upright and your knees are still in a 90 degree angle with your hands outstretched in front of you. Nearly there now, only 30 seconds to go. These poses and holds are great for your mind as it allows you to let go of thoughts that you might have whizzing through your mind and concentrate on the position. Now slowly come out of the position and you can stand up and shake your legs off. Next pose will be tree pose, which we have to do on both legs. Here are a couple of options of how you can do it. So one is put your foot on your calf, and the other one is put your foot on your inner thigh. So make sure you avoid your knee, as you don't want to put strain on your knee. So either go above or below the knee, depending on what's most comfortable for you, whilst pushing your palms together. If you want to do a more complicated version for a deeper stretch for your hips, then bring your foot to the front of your thigh and this can be helped by dragging away your calf to allow this position to occur as can be seen demonstrated here. So pick which leg you're going to balance on first and then pick which option you want to go for. I'm going to be going for the inner thigh, but you can decide which one you want to do. Be holding this pose for one minute. Ensure your back is straight and you're engaging your glutes and thighs for a straight posture. Don't want your hips sagging off to one side. To make this easier, find a point of balance and stillness to look at and stay there. This balance, as alluded to earlier, helps open up the hips, depending on which one you do will depend on the depth of the stretch. 10 more seconds to go. Just holding this position out and breathing here as well. Time's over and unravel out of the position. So now for the other side, I'd suggest you do the same variation as you did on one side, on the other side to equal out the movements. Remember to have a straight posture to avoid 
putting your foot on your knee. As well as stretching out the hips, thigh and groin, it also improves balance and stability, especially with pelvic stability. On top of this, it strengthens ligaments and tendons of the feet and ankles and can be therapeutic for flat feet or sciatica. Therefore, balances are very important within day-to-day -day life. Even though we don't find ourselves doing it often, it can help with activities like running and prevention of rolling ankles, for example. You can do this exercise whilst brushing your teeth by just standing on one leg. So it's quite a practical exercise to do. Now, step back to both feet, ready for the next exercise. The next exercise is a yoga squat. So you're going to position your feet 45 degrees outwards and squat down with your elbows between your knees, opening up your hips, groin and inner thighs. Also this stretches out the Achilles tendons. If you can get into this position comfortably you can start to rock side to side and all this stretching is accommodated by just the force of gravity. So there's no forcing the position, just relaxing into it and breathing from here. This position can be uncomfortable for some and if you cannot put your heels on the ground, do not worry. Just find the best position you can. Some people are a lot tighter in this position than others. It's just natural. This exercise is especially good for mobilising and stabilising the hips and ankles. Therefore, if you're tight here, it's especially good for you guys. Now, if you grab one wrist and start rolling at your wrists, it's a good way of getting a bit of wrist warm up and exercise whilst also being in this position as well. Swap hands when you feel like it. Just making sure you roll both ways with your wrists. When we're at our desks or typing a lot, writing, we become very stiff here. Therefore stretching our wrists out as we are doing now is particularly necessary in our modern society. Once you feel like you have stretched your wrists enough, just shake them out and just return back to position. If you want to do more wrist stretches, feel free to do so. You can also roll out your neck here a bit if you wish. The great thing about this position is it also improves digestion through being in a natural position to basically go to the toilet increasing blood flow to kidneys and intestines and stretching and relaxing the pelvic floor. Only 30 seconds to go, less than that. So just hold this position, focusing on your breathing, just being mindful of your body. In Eastern countries like Japan and China, this is a natural position to sit in. However, here in the West, it's become unnatural, but it's a very, very beneficial posture. Okay, so now slowly coming out of the pose, stretching out your legs a bit. Next position is downward dog, so an upside down V position poking your bum to the highest point and trying to flatten the back. If you need to do so, bend your knees and you can stretch one side to the other side, only holding this pose for one minute, ensuring equal weight distribution between your hands and feet. In yoga, this is possibly the most important pose, or one of the most important poses, because it recruits posterior muscles instead of the more powerful ones 
and also not only stretches most of the body including the hamstring, calves and shoulders but increases strength as well including the wrist, low back and Achilles tendon. As we mentioned the wrists are often neglected so it's a great pose to strengthen your wrists. Ten more seconds to go. Just holding this pose out. If you don't do this often, it can be harder. Three, two, one, and coming out of the position nice and slowly. Pose number five is elbow plank. So find a plank position, ensuring the shoulders above the elbows directly, with hands in front palms facing down onto the ground. Make sure the spine is aligned all the way up to the neck. So don't look up, just look to the ground and relaxing your neck into a natural position. Glutes should be engaged as well as the core muscles, specifically the rhomboids and trapezius for strengthened spine. This exercise also strengthens abdominal muscles and it's slightly more challenging than the hand plank version. Also, it can slightly stretch hamstrings, calves, and arches of the feet. Ten more seconds to go. So just hold the position, breathing. Three, two, one and you can relax. The sixth pose is the locust pose, so it's counteracting the core exercise we just did in plank by strengthening our back muscles. So we lift off our arms and legs with our arms to the sides of our body, keeping our neck once again aligned with the rest of the spine. Not only is the core engaged, but also your glutes, arms and legs. This pose helps improve posture, as well as also improving and aiding digestion through stimulating abdominal organs that are resting on the ground. There are also other variations of this position with arms out to the side or in front of you. You can explore these as well. But for today, I'll just be doing this position. 10 seconds to go. Just holding out this position, trying to breathe as calmly as you can. 3, 2, 1, and relax from here. Final pose is extended child's pose. We'll be holding this for 3 minutes, so quite a while. So find a comfortable space, toes together, knees apart, arms stretched out in front of you. To engage your shoulders more, you can keep your elbows off the ground. If you want a more restorative pose, then you can just relax your arms on the ground. Either way, they'll be outstretched in front of you. Aim to get your bum back to your heels for a deeper hip stretch. If this is not enough, you can also spread your knees further apart. As well as gently stretching the hips, thighs, groin, shoulders and ankles through the force of gravity, this can also relieve neck pain through supported head and torso. Furthermore, this pose is calming for the brain and breathing, helping to relieve any stress or fatigue you have in your life. Therefore, take these last couple minutes just to relax, let go of any negative thoughts, just breathing deeply from here, letting this be your time.
more seconds to go. So just returning back, taking your final deep breaths before coming out of this pose in five, four, three, two, one. And coming out slowly. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I suggest you do these exercises three times a day if you can, but even if you can do one a day, it will pay beneficially. See you guys later.